All right, everybody. So today I figured we would do a little bit of a review on the second EW live stream showing off the Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, they showed off some new stuff that we did not see the first time, including the new weapon, which that's actually what we're going to talk about first. Uh, the longbow. Uh, it's not what I expected it to be, but I'm not mad about it because we definitely need another bow in the game. Uh, we have the recurve, we have some compounds, we have a crossbow. But we didn't really have a like traditional longbow, so I'm kind of okay with this. Uh, they did add some new arrows to go along with it, so that's going to be really cool because now the recurve bow will have three different arrow types instead of just one, which will make it a lot more versatile and you'll be able to get diamonds of pretty much every species in the game. So that is absolutely awesome. I'm super happy with that. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the turkey need zones. Now, supposedly they have removed... Uh, well, according to TK, 80% of drink zones. I'm not sure what that is supposed to mean, but hopefully it'll make the turkey hunting a little more realistic because it was not exactly the most realistic with zones. I, I feel like with turkeys, it removes the fun if you can just go to a need zone and shoot them all with a 22. I shot that with the wrong gun, but it's whatever. But as I was saying, I feel like it takes away the fun if you can just run up to every need zone, shoot all the turkeys with a 22, and move on. I feel like this was a needed change. Now, we didn't really get to see it in action too much, but we saw a few of the turkeys, and the new turkey models actually look really good. Well, technically, they're not new, but they have the uh, better textures on them. They fixed the textures, and they look fantastic now. I'm super impressed with them. Uh, I hope that we get to see a little bit more of them before the release. But I'm not exactly sure if they're going to do another live stream before release because as of now they have have not given us a release date So it could be at any time really, but if they do another uh, EW live stream I really hope that they show off the turkeys a little bit more because we only saw a couple today All right, so now I kind of want to touch on the the ability to use the 22 on turkeys now I I personally don't feel like you should be able to, but I get why they did it. It's it's to do with the balance and the system that they already have. Uh, turkeys are class one, so they can't just change a weapon class for one species, you know? If they were to make it so 22s could not be used on the turkey, then it would make it so they couldn't use the 22 on other bird species too, and even the rabbits because they're all a class one. They'd have to completely rework their class system which I can see how that would be a pain to do. So I'm okay with them being able to use the 22 on the turkeys just because uh, it, it it's a lot of work on their end for them to be able to separate the 22's usability on different species that are the same class. It It's not as easy as you guys might think. The next thing I kind of want to talk about is the Rocky Mountain Elk models. Now, they they look pretty good for the most part. They did mention that uh, the models might have a couple little issues, potentially the corgi elk is back, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically when you'd shoot them, they'd kind of like scrunch up and make them look smaller. Uh, but basically, it was looking like that, that was happening with the Rocky Mountain elk. We're not sure if that actually is what was happening, but it looked like it from what we could see. And I'm not actually sure why I went to that lake, that is not a whitetail lake at all. But TK said that they would look into that, so hopefully they get everything there sorted out. Overall, the Rocky Mountain Elk looked pretty good, and I'm glad that we got a better look at them. We were able to see some different racks that we didn't see in the first stream, and we were also able to see the models a little bit better. But I knew something seemed off the f in the last EW live stream with the Elk, because for some reason the bodies just looked a little scrunched up, the necks looked too fat. I'm, I'm glad that they at least noticed that like they at least acknowledged that there was maybe something a little off with the necks on them and hopefully that gets sorted out uh, because with the necks fully extended they look really good but it's just that bug where they scrunch their necks up that makes them look weird that's actually a decent level four and we got some white tail right here we're gonna go ahead and get closer and take these guys out uh, but anyway the last thing that I want to talk about is the bighorn sheep models they finally showed off some bigger bighorn sheep, and they actually look really good. I'm super excited about them. 
Uh, it, it raised my excitement for the Bighorn just a little bit more because they do actually look different than the Mouflon. It's not just a complete copy-paste as a lot of people were expecting. Yeah, they actually look completely different, which is super nice. And I'm really hoping that they're going to be insane for the diamonds. Because the level 4 that they showed looked pretty nice. I'm super impressed with it. And wait a minute, was that... That... Is that a black tail or a melanistic? I can't tell. Oh, just a black tail. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and take out some of these white tail real quick. It's been forever since I've grinded for the great one, so I decided to do a little bit of that today. Wow, that lag was insane. Yeah, Layton's been super laggy for me recently. I'm not sure why. I've tried everything to fix it, and it does not seem to change it. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with the choppy frame rate. But, it's not too big of a deal, I guess. We're still able to get these white tail down. But I believe that's everything that I have to touch on about the second live stream. I think the biggest points out of this is... Oh, and they actually showed some more of the pronghorn, too. I almost forgot about that. The pronghorn looked fantastic. Like, I'm even more impressed. I was super impressed after the first live stream with the pronghorn. But I'm even more impressed now because they actually showed off some level 3s and 4s and they look insane. Like, I'm super happy with them. It's by far going to be my favorite species and I cannot wait to find an albino one. But anyway, here is the first whitetail. I believe this is the second one we shot, actually. Yeah, this is the second one we killed. Just a little guy. But hopefully we can get a good respawn out of him. And the second one right here is actually a decent one. 217. Not too bad. Now, normally I would do kind of a recap and show a bunch of clips from the stream, but I did that with the last one, and if you guys want to check it out, I will leave the link to the EW live stream in the description down below. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. It shows off a ton of the new stuff, including a good bit of the bow, the, uh, the brand new longbow. You know, I was about to end the video, but that is a piebald whitetail. Um... This is the first piebald whitetail I've killed on scoring 2.0. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Well, that is the first insane kill out of the Great One crime that I've had going on for a few months. I kind of took a break from it to hunt the True Wreck Red Deer, but I decided I should probably get back to grinding them. We had not killed a single rare besides a melanistic during this great, great one grind. We killed the one melanistic towards the beginning of the grind, and then after that we didn't really find anything uh, besides a few diamonds, but uh, the diamond whitetail seem to be a lot more common than the rares are. Uh, so this is really cool. This is the first piebald that I've found. I'm thinking about maybe putting this in a multi-mount with my melanistic and albino buck that I have. Because I did get an albino whitetail, I believe, before I started doing YouTube. We'll have a nice little multi-mount for all three of the rares. So that's really cool. I did not expect to see this guy, especially right as I was ending the video. Look at that. Look at that. It sucks that he's in a really bad spot, but... That's still nice. Yeah, piebald whitetail deer. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I'm so happy to finally get one of these guys on the scoring 2.0 system. It's too bad that every single rare I've killed has been a small one, but that's still super cool. Alright, so I think this looks best out of all the different positions. I think this is the best way to show off all of these rare bucks that I've killed. So this is where that piebald is, and I put this 291 white tail that used to be in the multi-mount over here on the wall next to our diamond black tail. Alright guys, well that will be it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed. If you are not already sub, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you guys want to help out even more, be sure to leave a like on the video because it will help push my video out to other viewers. But, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Peace my dudes.